Frontier. Welcome to Ranger Staff. We're back after the winter break. It is your look from football after everything Rangers. And let's introduce the two stars of the show, the two biggest Tunisian supporters <laughs> in Scotland. It is Grado and Stephen Purdon. How are we, John? I'm very well, very happy with the Tunisia game. We'll get into that in a bit minute. Yeah. Uh, can you name me the Tunisian player that played for Rangers, though? Tunisian? Oh, it was... Hamichi! No. Well no, done, Stephen. Purdon nailed it. Ah, uh, Hamid Hamichi. It was, it was, he was, a, he was, he was big ex pump care of every European game, man. Mm-hmm. Always, you always thought he's going to do something different. The only different thing he did was bring the Mucci in for the cold, man. Then you wouldn't <laughs> see him again. Do you know he had three years at Rangers? I was looking Aye. at that. He was, McLe- was McLeish's fucking golden boy at times, man. He was, wasn't he? Was it? There was one other Tunisian that's played in Scotland, and I had no idea about this one. Someone that played for Celtic. Can, any guesses? What, what, what year? 2012 to 2013. Season. Tunisian. That was a bad year for us. Aye. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tunisian. Played for Celtic. Uh, I don't know if you've got a game. If I'd, he had 14 games, bloody hell. Oh, I'll never get it, man. Lassad Naoui, if, if that's oh. how you pronounce it. I don't even know who he is. 14 games for Celtic. He was like God, like God she says, man, we didn't have our troubles to seek in the years, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that is who our, our guest pundit is this week. We've got Goshi, he's been on Rangers staff before. How are you doing, Goshi? Aye, not bad. How's yourself? I've actually not been on Rangers staff before. I've been on football daft a few oh, times. Oh, is this I'm your first time on Rangers staff? Oh, you need to ask him a question and all that, then, John. If this is his debut on Rangers oh, staff. Oh, yeah, if this is your debut. I, I had another question lined up for you, but I'm going to ask the typical question we ask in Rangers staff. What is your favourite Rangers moment? Uh, probably the FA Cup final. To, well, no. Oh, semi final. I went with my dad to Florence. I did the full. Oh, uh, lovely. Yeah, I went. We done the full run through Europe for oh, Champions really? League, right through to the final. So probably that. Did you, get a t- did you get have a ticket for Manchester? Aye, like the day before, and I, I, I can't even mind. Do you know? We thought it was a wind up because it was. I don't know if you had a go at, at the time, Stephen, but uh, it was like an automated message that came through. It was a phone call and it was an automated message. So we thought it was a wind up because we'd been telling us that we didn't obviously get a ticket. And uh, the next day it was like an automated message like, oh, uh, Mr. Heavy, you've got a, a ticket for Rangers versus Zenit St. Petersburg. My dad went, I fuck off, and then hung up. And then it phoned back again. And I was saying to my dad, I said, what's the hub? And he was like, it's a lot of shite, somebody take my piss. And I was like, I'm going to phone up and check. Phone up, and they're like, I got a ticket. I was fucking, we're absolutely buzzing with it. <laughs> absolutely. Man. Uh, and anyway, see, how, how, many, how many Mucci gave my mate a run for Murray Park into Glasgow Central Station once? So I've been sitting that for the last two minutes. <laughs> Hold on, no, sorry, rewind. Having the Mucci gave your mate a lift from Murray Park into Glasgow. Aye, Kel, my, my mate Kelsa, he's, everybody in Stevenson knows him. Right. He, he was the Mucci's biggest fan, had him in the back of his tap and all that, and he, he waited one day outside Murray Park for his autograph, and he signed his tap and that, and he was like, where are you going? He's like, come on, I'll get the train back here. I'll get you running into Central. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he waiting on the Mucci? I don't know. I don't know whether he had that at first or after that happened, they started getting him in the back of his tap. Do you know see, what I mean? See, see the thing is, man. See if I'm standing there waiting on the players coming out and Mester have come out, then the Mucci comes out. I'm not really going to hurt him, man. Yeah. <laughs> but Kelso's, oh, Kelso's a yeah, good Yeah, playbook, you know my fucking run name. Aye. Aye, 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 aye. Well, run in the central, aye. Well, run down the road. Um, Doshi, who's your favourite Rangers player of all time? Uh, for me, at my age, I'd go with Barry Ferguson. Barry Ferguson, aye, aye. Aye, without a doubt, I Loved him, and then broke my heart when he left, and then uh, he came back, can mind being there at Hamden, uh, his return game, and that was, I think, I can't remember, was that 2005, four or something like that, I can't remember, but he uh, was there for that return game, was fucking brilliant. Hamden, aye, he's a typical cat, aye, Hamden, Dundee United beat him 7-1, Um Aye, and I, I can mind being there. It's fucking brilliant. We guy, absolutely buzzing. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Aye. Well, let's get let's get into the football. Let's start off. Um, we kind of touched on it uh, a lot on football daft there at on Friday, talking about Kevin Clancy's performance against uh, Aberdeen. Rangers submitted oh. a bit of a, uh, making eight points 
Um, they're talking about Ryan Kemp being shown the two yellow cards. They're talking about uh, Lewis Ferguson's equalising penalty, why it wasn't retaken. Uh, talking about Johnny Hayes' challenge and Bonner Barisic. It's not a challenge. Yep. Uh, along it's with- not a challenge, John. Well, jo- that's how it's been described. Late it's challenge. not a challenge. It was two elbows to the nose. Yes, well, they have complained about all of that. Um, what have you made of this, guys? I think it's <clears throat> it's refreshing. I think Grado kind of says it. We talk about it quite a bit, man. I think it's good that we're actually starting up and actually fucking saying something and having a voice and try to get our point across because I'm no saying... I mean, we all know Clancy's a Celtic fan, but I'm no saying... Well, we, we don't know yeah, that, Stephen. He's a but... Celtic fan. Come on, right? But that that performance on night, and I'll hold my hands up and say the same thing when when McGregor comes out. Do you know what I mean? How's he getting that right? How's he getting how how when Barisic asks to go aft for treatment when his nose is fucking gushing, Clancy tells him to get up, and then when Aberdeen get a free kick and Scott Brown tells Clancy he needs to go aft for treatment, he then sends him aft. What's that all about? There's too many inconsistencies. There's too many amateur hour mistakes, man, that you can't get wrong at that level of football. Yeah, and if you're going south watching it, game. what's that? I've read that game. I know. It's true, mate. Made, like, fucking every decision for him. Mm-hmm. It's true. But, I mean, there's, there's, you don't believe there's, there's, he's got an agenda against Rangers. No, you? that's what I'm saying. I, I know he's a Celtic fan, but I'm saying it's no that. <laughs> I genuinely just think the guy, Kevin, if you're listening, we don't know if you're a Celtic fan or he's, not. Legally, he's, he's, we don't know if you're not, a Celtic fan or not. It's not about that, but he's, <laughs> he, he's absolute incompetence to do his job properly oh, in a game I mean. when Rangers are playing. Oh, is he, does he make it go away? <laughs> I'm sorry, Stephen. I've lit the fire under you again. I apologise. It, it, it's, I'm telling you, if you're doing south, if you're anywhere and you're watching that, that is a shocking advert for Scottish football when a referee get so many this he lost control and just let like Goshi says just let Brown fucking call the shots yeah um, so that's all I've got to say in the matter uh, right <laughs> but that, look, look you, you watch that game and there's no one bad challenge in that no, game there's no yeah. it's no meaty it's not a meaty apart Johnny Hayes which isn't a challenge it's a fucking elbow <laughs> but there's nothing <laughs> in that game but once he, he, he what happens is he, he just he gets card happy after the first one and he feels he needs to step back and everybody. And, he just, and, and, and Bob's right, he, he lost control for me. I mean, it just got silly in the end up. It did, it did. I, I, I thought the Manelis decision when obviously you got the penalty. We, we, why we, is he booking him? Why is he booking him? Yeah, it was a penalty, Steve. You said so yourself. It was a penalty, mm. but it's why a is home ball in the him? box, but it's not like he's gone like that. His horns are there, so give the penalty. But why do you need to? I don't get off my again. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll wait, we 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 found that he's he's not uh, been assigned a game for the midweek fixtures. We don't know. I don't know if he's been suspended. Grado's dad's on the case and says he's been suspended, <laughs> but I don't know if, if that is the case or if they've just said, "Listen, maybe we're he's got annual leave. Maybe he's away on holiday. Maybe he's away in Gran Canaria or something." Maybe he's away on holiday. Maybe he's away on holiday. <laughs> uh, so, aye, so. That's it's it's done now though. We move on to the next games. Um, is it though, John? Is it done? We will find is, out. Wait, we'll find wait, out. I'm sure wait, it'll come on. Like one last thing to say on this. Right, here we there go. There needs to be an end to this level of refereeing. It's an absolute shambles for the Scottish game. Obviously, from a personal point of view, it was frustrating for me the other night. I'm a Rangers fan, and the way our players were just getting fucking cared, cared after cared after cared. No, no decision, no decision. But that. It's embarrassing, man. It Just makes the game look fucking tin pot up here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every referee has a poor performance, but yeah, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Um, well, we talked about it on football, Daft. It, it, it is a when you put in referee in performance terms, Stephen, you put it in your top three. So it'll be horrendous. Interested to see what was it one and two. My top three is probably him. One, two, and three. <laughs> um. Another thing we talked about on Football Daft there was John Souter, we invited Ewan on to, to have a, a chat to you about that. 100 quid, by the way, on the line for the Hearts yes. uh, Celtic game this Wednesday. We'll wait and see yep. what the outcome of that, see if Mr <laughs> Moneybags Chris Toll has to pay out to Ewan or vice versa. <laughs> um, 
John Suter it got left out of the Hearts team there at the weekend against Talbot. Uh, talk is that R- Robbie Nielsen expects him to be a Hearts player come the end of the window, but it's understood there's been a three hundred thousand pound offer put into by Rangers for him, um, but they're looking for five hundred thousand for him. Would you would you make would you be quite happy to give away half a million for it, or are you quite content just to wait? Not. Depends if Goldson stays or not. See if well, Goldson goes, we'll need to bring him in because you've seen the talk today about Goldson maybe got to West Brom. Aye, West Brom and Nottingham Forest, Forest. man. That's, Forest. A, that's an embarrassment. That sells, is it, I was going to say, I mean, that, that there's, there is rumours that they've got, he's going to say a pre-contract with those guys as opposed to going in the window, he's going to say a pre-contract but, with those guys. Know, is Goldson better than that? Better than championship level? Aye, got, well, you put it as why well, Joe Warrell and Scott McKenna are Nottingham Forest's main cent- central defenders are now. So mm-hmm. I'd say he's miles better than that level. So but, you think in mid mid table Premiership, lower end Premiership? I lower end Premier League probably. Aye, yeah. I'd say so. Probably Shane Duffy plays for Brighton. Exactly, he'd fit into yeah. like a Norwich or a Watford, no bother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, aye. So, do, what do you think will happen there, then, boys? Well, I think uh, Rangers will hold out on you go, great old man. I'm no, but I was just going to say, I, I, think, I think Rangers will hold out because it's just, it happens, it happens quite often, doesn't it, where they'll put an offer on the table and say no, but then the last day, and they think to themselves, right, this is a chance to get a bit of money, it's not the money we're after. It might not seem as good, you know, a week to go when it, before the transfer window, but on that day, when it comes to the bit, they end up letting them go for maybe what, what Rangers want, are prepared to pay, and I don't think it should be any more than three hundred grand. I think that's not too bad considering we played we paid fifty grand for Kamara a couple of years ago. Do you think maybe meet, meet in the middle, come into the transfer on four hundred grand? So, I, I oh, think oh, the things two things I would take into consideration here is you've got a guy whose contract runs out in effectively five months, right? You're going to pay half a million for that, no? Plus, how much football has this guy played in the last two or three years? Mm. Right, so you're not going to break the bank for him. Plus, if Goldson is staying, I think the Sterling Albion game showed there's a lot of deed with our club, and we need to sign in other departments and other areas. You know, there's other areas that need we need a we need a right winger, right winger desperately. Yeah. We need maybe an all striker, an all midfield. We need we need one or two players that are going to be able to walk into that starting eleven. Not just be squad players. So I wouldn't be breaking the bank to go and get Suter the new if Goldson's going to stay. Right. I think Suter will come in because they never played him uh, against Talbot. And Aye. I think that means that he, he wasn't injured. They were talking past no. the yeah. the half fans yeah, yeah. raging about it. But yeah. that's because they didn't want to cut tie him because they knew they'd have no chance he was paying up money if, if, if they cut tied him. So if they if they thought he would still be a Hearts player towards the end of the season, they, they would have played him. Aye, you're right. Aye, you're right you're that, on Wednesday? I think he'll play Wednesday. I, I think that'll be his last game for Hearts. Mm. Yeah, I saw they are. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be interested to see. You. So, so you you guys think he'll come in before the end of January then? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Right, okay. Uh, People and say he's a replacement for Goldson, man. He could play alongside Goldson to the end of the season. I say Goldson, I know. Right. How, how long is Alander going to be before he's back? He's back training now, isn't he? Back training, yeah. aye. Yeah. Balogun's back, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, the other point we touched on at the start of the show then, Tunisia went out the, well, sorry, Nigeria went out to Tunisia in the African Cup of Nations. They are total shock. Uh, Nigeria were favourites to go all the way in that. Great, great news I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Great news for, for uh, Rangers supporters out there. So he's back for the old firm. The sweet <laughs> prince is coming home, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it, he's, he'll make the heavy game, but maybe at the weekend gets a game. Well, but... Gredo checked fucking flight <laughs> radar flight, whatever flight last night. <laughs> Cam, Cameron to Edinburgh, his flight should be in about half an hour. <laughs> 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 uh, it's probably, the heavy game is probably a bit too early for him, but he maybe makes a squad and starts to the bench maybe on at the weekend and then obviously... Fucking like, straight in. You think so straight, straight in, yeah. on the bench? Aye, straight in. Aye, oh, who, was the, who was the ones in the Premier League who came back? Was it for- Arsenal? But, but you call the big fella get sent off. Aye, party goes aye. side off. Aye. Yeah. Um, got the red eye for fucking Africans. Played that day or something. Get the red <laughs> eye for Africans and get the red card. <laughs> Um, but I big boost for Rangers ahead of the old firm game. Obviously, Morelos missing. Uh, Maeda's just been called up by Japan as well, so he's going to. So it's now kind of swung a wee bit because Rogic is away as well. Rogic is away as well. We're still waiting to find out about Kamar Roof, however. Um, he'll be fit. 
we don't know if he's going to be a way to... to well, he's no, telling him, he's telling no, he's, 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 no, he's not been called up. He's staying. Is he staying? Because the last I heard, he was, they were still waiting on The only that. person we're missing is Morelos. Yeah, so that that's it. So Ruth obviously slots into where Morelos would be anyway. And, you know, he, he, he's been good. So, yeah, it, it's swung in range, especially with the injuries there uh, at the weekend. Cal McGregor as well. Uh, a couple of Celtic players going off against our... Uh, which... What a difference a week makes, because this time last week, I'm biffing out going, ooh. <laughs> so I, panic, this time last week, you were saying, I hate football, Grado. So, you know... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's completely so about but let's get into the cup game there at the weekend uh, Rangers 4 Sterling Albion nil. big changes obviously to Rangers as we said a lot of boys being brought out of the cold what did you make of the game Goshi? I, I, I just thought it was pointless and playing Barker and Simpson and that because see honestly they're not going to come into the end of the season and make a difference to our squad mm. they're not good enough and don't really, I don't, I don't care what Endes says, Barker's never, he's never going to do much for us, even as a squad player, he's just, he, he had that game against Dylan Albion, he was pish again, he scored a couple of goals, he's just not good enough, but do you know what I mean, and I just don't see the point in it when you've got other players there that could have played that game, I get what he's doing, he's getting him game time in that, and I don't know if it was maybe putting him on the short window, but if he was putting him on the short window, he's fucked it then, because nobody's coming in for him. <laughs> Gosh, no, he's back in Gradle's favourite player at Rangers. No, player. listen, he wasn't my favourite player, but he doesn't know back. Listen, I totally I totally agree with everything you're saying. The boy's not played since, what was that, his first game, first start in, since November 2020 or something. Aye, you're bang on, man. But there's no need, there's need reason for him to get a run out. Nothing. No, it's Unless you try to put him in the show, Wendy. You're right, there was a chance for him to show, and he was murder. If you can't do it against Dylan Albion as well, fucking chuck that. That's what I mean. That's what did, I mean. Did, if did he was getting he said on the short window, he fucked it for his because that was did against someone. He never ran by a player or nothing. Did he get his barn sorted then? I think you met the same guy as me, mate. Aye. 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 Has he got it sorted? I didn't notice I that. So, I hadn't noticed that. I think Maybe so. Maybe just Brit sticked it down. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> he did that fucking Bobby Charlton wee thing last year, remember, man? <laughs> that thing was brilliant, man. The See Bobby that man. picture of him? Fucking Aye. God, that's a, that was a cursed image, that man. Brandon Barker, Bacuna, Jack Simpson. Oh. There's so much deed with there, man. It needs to be removed. It shouldn't be better club. Nah, he's not interested, mate. He's not interested. I think he, I think he knows. Geo, I don't think Geo fancies him. I don't think Lundstrom's happy. Uh, if anything, before he kind of fell out of favour, before Gerard went, there was a there was a case to say he was our best player performance wise. He was playing all right, but it's clear the Dundee United game. No, I'll go there when he get hooked at half time. I just don't think Gio fancies him, but like I was reading Stevie Clifford and Four Lads a day, his blog was bang on the day. This is a massive few weeks for Ross Wilson because his job is really fucking difficult to know because there's a lot of deed with there that needs to be removed. Plus, like I said earlier, there needs to be one or two at the very least that come in and improve that starting 11 because as big a squad as it looked we had at the start of the season, there's still a lot of players there that just aren't good enough. So we just, players aren't good enough to fill in. No, They're just no. no. And I just no. Like, it's because yeah. are you giving up in Bakunia already? Are you giving up in aye, aye, aye. Uh, I mean, there probably is a prayer player there, but to me, yeah, he's not just either. To be fair, two assists. He's attitude, man. I don't. I, he just doesn't. He, see, for me, man, he just looks like a player. You're not. I don't think. I think you get one good game in fifteen of them. Are you talking about Bakunia or Lundstrom? Both. <laughs> there was one part of the game with, with Bakunia the other night, the, the ball went out and it was still in Albion's throat and he just turned his back to it completely. Aye. Jogged Aye. it the other way and they threw it up the and he's turning around looking with the boys and I'm going, and I'm rewinding it and I'm pausing it going, look at him. Aye. He's fucking <laughs> jogging away from it. Like, you think, surely you're going out there and they're going, right man, this is my Aye. chance to fucking prove I can get a game Aye. here. And he just fucking totally phoned it in again. The hang is, man. Like, man. And see the hang is, you're thinking about squad players. Feels like if you can't get excited when any kind of players, like, see the likes of like, Sands getting signed last week, man. Everybody's, it's terrible to hang up, but you're just thinking straight away, he's just going to be another. Aye. It's the same as when we signed same same. Same Jack Simpson. You knew Aye. he just wasn't going to be good enough. And there's a reason Jack Simpson, mid 20s, has only played something like fucking 24, 25 competitive games in his career. Aye. There's a reason for that. It, it, was strange, it was strange to see Sands being benched, though. Um, you think to put a game like that, you know, he obviously came in against Aberdeen and then he went went back to bed. You think, give him game time, get him used to the Scottish game and get him mm. up and running. And he, he, uh, he, it, was, it was a bizarre lineup. 
Yeah, and another was. player coming back, um, scoring the goal. Itten, he missed. A, he missed a pretty good chance early on. You must. You were thinking, ah, yeah. what a ball that was for Tavern or a chance he missed. Yeah, what uh, but what did you make of him, Grado? I know you're you're kind of a bit of a fan of him, aren't you? I mean, eventually he got there, and you're you're delighted he scored. But again, I just don't. I don't think he's good enough. I just don't know. And, and for me, I'm, I'm watching that game on Friday, and I'm going, oh, do we trust this guy to start at part heat? I mean, really, I don't know. He would, he would, he would surprise me. He would, he would surprise me because see, the new he just no. Nah, I think, I think he tries him. too hard sometimes. He does try too hard, and he can tell. But, but you know what? Maybe he is. He can, maybe we're being a bit harsh, right? Because maybe he's been he, away. He, you're right. He's been away for six months. He wants to come and prove a point. He's wanting to get back on the score sheet. There is that. He needs to gel back in with the, with the side again. The system we play now. Your forwards, basically your forward, he's not like a false nine coming back. So see, Itton, the other night, the players were in a boot man. All right, Tav put that one on a plate for him. But apart from that, there wasn't much service for him. Do you know what I mean? So you look at it and you go, maybe when you get the likes of Kent firing, you get Arfield back, you get a Rebo back. Maybe you'll see a wee bit of a better Itton then. But at the moment, I'm still in the same camp as Grado. I still really... Before he went on loan to Germany, I still didn't think, I just didn't think he was up. He's that. still a tin miss. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. One player that came off the bench, Hachi had a bit of an injury. We're still waiting to find out how uh, fitness, how, it didn't look so bad. I think it was just an impact injury. So hopefully he'll be fit for the, for the old firm for you guys. But Alex Lowry coming off the bench, young boy. Yeah, he's got a story about him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a great game! has got story. No, but do you know what? It's relative to us because I actually thought it was a day out. I went with Noam Dar, but it was the, it was when it was when we fell out. See, was it? We, ah, it was when we fell out. I looked at the pictures. Did he see? Did he see us arguing in the street? Maybe it, it was right outside Corinthian, so there's a was good pause. In fact, it would have been directly because right, I came hold out. On, hold on, hold on. Rewind, rewind here. It's just right. after the infamous football daft night out when Stephen <laughs> ran away in uh, the night. Stephen Taylor, Stephen Taylor, Bob Taylor Huff and fucked off up the road, right? <laughs> uh, he slammed his slammed shit down the table and all that. Right. Drank his drink and fucked off at Corinthian, yeah. right? And I started following him. I'm going, I'm going to batter him and all that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I go out the street and I, I do think you never heard me, right? But it's pure shooting up the street. Pure going, away up the fucking road. <laughs> yeah, daft and all that, right? And then uh, two seconds later, this boy stops me and goes, Credo, how you doing? And I get a picture and I'm going, I don't know what I'm going to say. He's like, I play for Rangers. <laughs> and I was like, you're joking. I goes, Deggy. I goes, I'll get a picture for you. What's your name, man? He's like, Alex Lowry. That is class. It was right, right, it was just right after I'd been chasing Bob up the street. <laughs> and I went to find it. And sure as fate, it was right up, because as you can just see, it's just getting dark. And that is just when I chased him at the pub. <laughs> but I went... Brilliant. So Alex, <laughs> Lowry, <laughs> pal, fantastic. That's fucking brilliant, man. Damn. I'm raging. I'm not the road now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of the young boy coming off the? Off he was the brilliant, game? man. He, he was, was fucking tremendous. He's the best player I've ever saw. Uh, <laughs> see, see, yeah. Same, but Brandon thanks. Marker. We see as good as Zingu against Hamlin, you know. I'm not as good as that. <laughs> but honestly, no, you... when he come on, man, breath of fresh air. But exactly, exactly. Yeah. And he spiced yeah. up. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. See, as are saying, but we were talking about Bakuna's attitude and Lundstrom's attitude and that. And you see boys like that exactly. absolutely bursting to go on the park. And it showed you. See, when he came on, I thought he played fucking, I thought he'd done really well. And then he came on, he was composed, he, he mm. tained the ball well. It was a very intelligent. Uh, it was a great finish. Like, like you say, Stephen, a very intelligent, intelligent finish. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, 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 you know, looking at, looking at it just now as well, you know, he's played with the B team. It's maybe an ideal game for him to just come right in and just set mm -hmm. his nerves and bed in and go, right, know what I'm saying. He's, he's there's, gone. There's, so nothing he's better, album, but... there's nothing better than seeing an academy player coming through. Mm. Yeah, there's I mean, nothing better than that. that that's that's I mean, that's what every football supporter wants is seeing mm -hmm. boys coming through the system, getting into that first team. Obviously, he saw it with Nathan Patterson went in to, to make big money. Could he be the next kind of player to break through into the, into the side, do you think? Well, he's iced up. Yeah. He Leon... John. <laughs> <laughs> Leon King came off the bench as well. What Big talk about him um, from the academy as well, being the, the kind of next big thing at centre half. He didn't really get to see much of him, but from what... He's he... highly thought of, though. He's very highly thought of at Rangers, Leon yeah. King. Just signed a new deal as well, so... I, can't ah, yeah, I, think, I think there's big things in his future at Rangers, but 
Hard to judge him on a game yeah. like that against Stan Albion. No, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, definite penalties, I think, uh, for for both. Uh, Tav obviously missed the second one. Is he off the penalties now? Does he retain being on? Well, oh, Kamal Roof's back now, isn't he? He was yeah. taking them uh, before yeah. he got injured. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. It was Craig and that. He's usually more dirty, isn't he? Yeah, but yeah. Craig and. Oh, Craig and um, had a good point. He's like, you know, if you're hitting, why, you know, you, you be, if you want desperately to score a goal, take the ball off him, man. He's had the penalty 60 seconds before. Surely you're wanting to take that ball off him and, and get, get on the penalty. Get and take I just like seeing my forwards taking penalties, man. I do, but... I don't know, man. I don't I know, like but it's like... Every that first, the first one, you're like, yeah, if I get in Tav, man, he's back and all that. And then second one, <laughs> why is he taking the penalties? <laughs> 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 Fucking way she take them. Uh, and obviously, big fashion scores his goal, gets I the cut, his, gets the cut his hair, up there cut. And did the uh, celebration with that as well. Again, I, he, he's a good player, I think. Fashion Sakawa. I mean, do you think he should be in the first time? Does he get a look in for the old firm in the game? Yeah, I would, I would, I would start him before, right? Aye. Aye. Would you really? Yeah. Peace. Can I just bring up a point about Scott Wright? I've heard you saying it a few times, Stephen. I just don't rate Scott Wright, and I've been no. slated for it on yeah, yeah, I mean. Twitter and that. And I, I just don't, I just don't think he's good enough. He's but he's had two good games for us this season. That was against. Uh, him Fairman in the cup Aye. and then the game after I says he was shite he came on and played the best game of his career um, <laughs> who, who was it I think it's St Murn maybe and he was he played really well but he's, just, he's not good enough I, I don't he's care well. he's not off good enough he's not shite off I totally shite. agree man he, 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 he can run he can he's run with the brothers the end end product. Product. he had his chance uh, when uh, Kent was out I know he never took exactly. it no I just I would I'm not saying Sakala's, I don't think Sakala's great either, but what I like about Sakala is he's kind of unpredictable. Aye, that as well. He's mm. unpredictability. You don't really know what he's going to do, and I think he's a bit of a... He doesn't really know what he's got to do something. Well, that's the thing, man. He's kind of, I, I think he deserves a wee run, because I think Scott Wright's had his chance a few times now, and for me, that is a priority area we need to sign. Desperately. So who took their chances in the game from that change lineup? Who really took their chances? Hey, hey. Lowry, Itton? Eventually. Uh, when you, when you think I, about his first... I think, I, do you know what? I, I think Roof looked sharp when he came on. Yeah. He looked sharp. Uh, looked yeah, sharp. Definitely. Uh, See, Ruff, I think he's... I would say... Um, I'd say he's probably technically, if not the best, one of the best players in the league. Oh, he's, yes. Come on, Roof. Ah, he's dead. Let's see if he's not. He's just injured all the time. Aye, definitely. Yeah, he's, brilliant. Brilliant. he's a good player. He's a good player. After the match, uh, Giovanni Van Bokker said, "I saw many good things today. The main objective is to go to the next round. Overall, we're very decent. Happy with the performance of some players. You can see Alex Lowry was really enjoying his football. He's at good level already. Do you think you know with the, these young guys playing in the, the Oland League, that's really helping with their development? I mean, Alex Lowry coming into a game like that, Leon King coming into a game." Like that. That's going to be a good thing for Rangers. These players getting that experience at that level, and then they're okay coming into that first team environment, aren't they? Hundred yes. percent. That's what you see the other day, don't it? It's good. Like that's kind of perfect game to play, young Lowry. And that is. It's like aye, hundred percent. If you're if you're good enough, that's it. Just get in the team. So, next game is away to Annan, so uh, that'll be a, that'll be a tasty little tie down that way as well. Um, last time we usually we question. I saw this in the BBC, and I thought I'd put this to you boys, right? So last time Rangers won the cup was in what year? 2009. Who did they play? So no. 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 Is it not Queen South? No. Yeah. Falkirk. Falkirk. Yeah, it was Falkirk. Falkirk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Okay. The half because it was too hot. That's <laughs> right. Aye. Uh, here's the. Question. Question. Yeah. Yeah. 14 players played in that game. Can you name me the Rangers? Uh, 14 players that played in that game. Novo. Novo. Uh, Boyd, obviously. Boyd. Stephen Davis. Stephen Davis. Yeah. Was it Alexander in goals? It was. Aye. Stephen Whitaker, yeah. Five. Baby Weir. Papach, Papach. Baby Weir. Papach, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Did. Thompson played? No, he didn't mean Seven. Kenny Miller. Oh, he's left. Kenny Miller's left. McCulloch. Yeah, eight. Beasley. No. Yeah. Edu! 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 No? No? 
2009. Jerome Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that one. Uh, uh, fuck, let me think, man. Did we say, what positions have we got to go? Did we say Neil Alexander? Yeah, Aye. you've got Neil Alexander. You've got a centre half, a midfielder. Who's big Davy Weir? A Quella. What's up? Quella. Quella. No. no. Baguera. Baguera's one, oh, Pedro. Five more to get. Uh, right back. Um, you got, you got, got Weigar, you got Weigar, so you got the right back, you've got, you've got a defence now, you've got a midfielder, two strikers and a defender off the bench to go. Alright, the strikers we've not got, so we've never got Boyd and Miller, there you know. You've got Boyd, you've got Boyd, oh, someone, you see Miller, yep, that's mm. one, that's... Got, Danny Wilson won! Danny Wilson was on the bench but didn't come off. Yeah. So wait, 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 we've got the strikers Where are we looking for, John? What's that? What, what positions are we looking for? You've got uh, you've got two that came off. There's two players that came off the bench. You've still to get them, and you're still to get a midfielder. Oh, no, oh, midfielder was Barry Ferguson was that? Barry Ferguson's oh, one. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, fucking Fergie. So Fergie, right? So it's just what we're looking for now, a striker. Uh, two off the bench. You're looking for a defender. Kuzan. What's up? Kuzan. No. <sighs> Arsenal? No, he was no. away. He was, he was away. Nah. Away. Um, <sighs> well, in fact, you've got you've got, you've got an arm in the starting eleven, an arm striker in the starting eleven to get to get as well. It's up front with Boyd. Is it no Yelovich? No. It was Kenneth Boyd. Well, he... Velitska. <laughs> no. Oh. Just back in the Scottish game recently. Stevie Naismith. No. Stevie Naismith came off the bench. Oh. Well done, Goshi. Uh, back in the Scottish game recently. Well, after it. Lafferty, oh, big oh, fucking, Lafferty. the big fucking seven foot flute man. And one more to get, which I'll be, I'll, well, it came off the bench. I think it might have been his last game for Rangers as well. Where's his position? Centre half. Uh, nationality. <laughs> I think he's a nationality. Scottish. Andy Webster? Nah. No. <laughs> um, centre half. Paul Ritchie. Christian Daly, no? Christian Daly, gosh, he's gone there. Big Daly, man. Well played, well played, well played. Good goal. And obviously, Falkirk got beat 1 0, but we won't go. A goal fit into win any cup. I bet it was a game, Falkirk, Falkirk, didn't a game that Falkirk dominated and should have won it as well. But I don't know. Well, he's actually, did that game, by the way. I, I was at that game. It was I, boiling. Fucking, it was, it was, it was roasting. I roasting. I had it was a terrible, terrible day, but I had a great day afterwards and got drunk and end up in the strippers. So it was a good whole day. All right. <laughs> um, so that was the last time you won the cup, and in next, we'll see where that goes. But what's next in the league? It is two games this week, boys. We've got Livy at home and then Ross County away. What game do you fear the most out of those two? I fear every game, John. I so they are. I so they are. I'm too nervous about it. Aye. When we're away from home now, man, it's just like we just allow teams too much possession, allow teams to have the ball too much. So probably a Ross County game. Mm-hmm. Ross, Ke- Ross County have picked up a bit of form recently. Aye. They've got a couple of good young players that they've kind of pilfered from kind of premiership clubs playing up there at the moment. The good news from a Rangers perspective is they've never beaten you. Uh, 40, they've only got managed three draws against you, 40 out of 14 matches. Um, but so Ross County is the, the game you fear the most, then, boys. Aye, probably. They yeah. should take care of the Livia Ibrox. Yeah, Liv- I mean, Livy picked up again a, a team that are down there, picked up four, uh, three wins in the last six for them as well. Uh, mm. Bruce Anderson seems to be going well for them as well. Aye. Up, up mm. front, in he used to play for Aberdeen, didn't he? Yeah, he scored statistically. He scored thirty nine percent of Livingston's eighteen goals this season. Mm. Highest ratio for any side. There you go. Um, uh, but see, I mean, we're next on the fixtures. Sorry, just we're next few on the fixtures between us and Celtic. I think we've got the kind of better end of the stick compared to obviously oh, playing the But, but, but you've I, had I, you you had that really I horrible list of fixtures done. there, haven't you? They've that's got it. hearts that's away I mean, and I then dug in the home. Six points uh, for the next two games. It puts us in good stead. It get, gives us good momentum getting into the old firm. And I can see, I can, I say it all the time. I say it every game, but I can see Hearts taking points off them. I really can. And if we capitalise on that, and it gives us good momentum getting into the old firm. And I, mm-hmm. I, I genuinely, 
I don't know why he drinks it. I, I think we'll beat them at Parkhead, but, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hadji's a doubt for Wednesday after taking that knock against Sterling Albion. Who do you think is going to start for Rangers on Wednesday? Fucking Scott Wright, probably. Cyrus, I Cyrus. I think. <sighs> I think hopefully Arfield's back. Maybe Ruth. Uh, the thing is, you've got Ruth and you've got Arfield coming back, so that's a bonus. Had you at the team. If Aribo made that flight that Grado was telling us about, you never know, man. He could, <laughs> he could start, man. <laughs> nice night, you know what I mean? Just throw him in, man. He's a young boy, fat as fuck. Get him in. <laughs> I think you want, to, you, want to rest, you want to rest him, don't you? You want to no. Or you're just like, babe, it's Livingston at home, Stephen. Give Aye. him a chance. Exactly, he came a run out. Get some minutes in his legs, man. <laughs> minutes in his legs. <laughs> um, so... so d- Looking back to, do you think it'll be a similar side to what started against Aberdeen, or do you think it'll be changes there? It has to be. It can be a similar side that started against Stalin Albion. Yeah. Aye. But it has Stalin. to be. Imagine he started Barker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we know that Livingston set up when they, they come to places. Obviously, the Celtic struggled against them early in the season as well. We only managed a, a draw at Celtic Park. Martin Dale comes in with that low block. They're very good defensively. That's two clean sheets in the last two games for them as well. Why are he bonus to start? Physical strong side, you know. Are Rangers able to cope with that kind of, you know, that meant that physical? Aye, aye. Aye. We don't, we don't concede many goals, man. We don't. Yeah. That was a obviously it was a penalty all night. We gave away a lot of chances to Aberdeen, but we still only conceded for the penalty spot. And before that. We've can count one horn many goals have conceded under Geo, so man can do that. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. score predictions. Three 0 Three 0 Three 0 I'll go for two 0 again, same as the start of the season. Yeah, Goshi. I'll go four 0 Four 0 Yeah, uh, what? Yes, about it and then hit it with four 0 but I do it, do it, do it. I mean, you're on beat. I mean, that's twenty-seven wins and three draws in thirty games at Ibrox, so. I mean, it's you would think it a, 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 should be a stroll for Rangers in that game. Ross County uh, away. You said this is the game that you fear out of the two games. This is the game that you fear the most. I mean, we see. I mean, obviously, you, you, I guess there'll be changes made for the Livingston game. Changes made for the Ross County game. You just try to protect some players ahead of the old firm and guessing, depending on how Celtic results go. What do you think the score will be in that one? I'm not. I, I, have we had much bother going to Ross County in the last couple of years? I don't ever remember it being. No, really yeah, not really. In uh, the last couple of years, I don't know. I'll say two 0 on Sunday. Two 0 uh, I'm going to go for four one. Four one. I I think I'll go two 0 on all. What was the score when he played his mind? Uh, the near the start of the season was it three two or two one? Can I mind? I mind they come back into it, but they conceded sure. a couple of goals, didn't they? I I we know that was the baby we were looking for a kitchen. I think Nicker. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Aye, aye. I'll, I'll go. I'll go with. Oh, fuck it. I'll go with six and nine. <laughs> 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 Love Love it, uh, so that's it for this week's Rangers staff. Thank you very much for listening. Next week, boys. It's going to be Rangers staff versus Celtic staff. We'll get Toll and Ryan on. Oh. Oh. I don't. Ahead to the old farm, we'll have a wonder when the sleepless nights will begin, man. When the sleepless nights start for you guys, ahead the night. Of the old farm? probably the night now that you've said that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's always, it's always, um, see, like the kind of uh, like the after the game before it, you know what I mean? See, the last game you play before it, it's after you play that, aye, the build up starts. Aye, you start talking definitely. about it, even even at that game, they're talking about the next game, so for them, that's when you start thinking about it, and then. You just fucking you replay every scenario and you keep I I get dead um what do you call it superstitious with things like I go I go to day things a certain way before I know from a fucking murder man, honestly. But uh, <laughs> I'll never leaves you, man. But that's what I was saying. I, I say it to my pals all the time. I hate all terms, I hate before it and I hate watching it. I only enjoy it if we win. Aye. And that's it. Because everything else it's just pure nerves and oh but you know, I just I, I I think we will beat them, but it's going to be a strange one, but I, do you know what? I, I love a game under floodlights. I, I, just the atm- just for me, the atmosphere when you're watching that game and a wee bit of drizzle in the you know 
the game under floodlights is just a great environment to watch football. And, and I know it's a Wednesday night, so a bit of pain in the arse because everyone's working the next game, so you can't get. I'm not. Oh, it's Stevens, though, so Stephen will be on it. <laughs> hey, I've just found out I'm going to be working in Dumbarton till 7, till 7 o'clock that night. I've just found out an hour. Aye, right. Oh, Who's no. Hello? Two doors down reshoots. Oh, is that, is that you filming that next week? Aye. Tony Watson oh. in as well. The two years mm. will be quite like, I guess get us done. Is it, mate? Done. Mate, you and Johnny as well, just getting a room at the Premier Inn across the road and watch. <laughs> <laughs> I can, man. I can, because I can't. I can't see, I'll hey, that'll be hellish trying to get him. I know, um, mate, I know, mate, I'm hinking the now and listening to the radio and all that shit for the first, uh, probably half an hour. Grado, I would just camp out in Dumbarton, find yourself a pub in Dumbarton. And no, go because all the boys yeah. are coming to the White House. Oh, no. I, I know, man. Don't, don't go to a pub in Dumbarton. Oh, <laughs> on. You after that? <laughs> 14 could have been. Huh? Well, we'll get back. We'll get on to Rangers versus Celtic Daft. That gosh, he's nice. When, right, when are we doing that? We're not doing it right after the game, are we? No, we're doing it ahead of the game. We're doing it ahead. Of aye, the before game. the game. Aye, before, right, the, before aye. the game. So there'll be a bit of detail. Aye, but not on the Wednesday. No, on the Wednesday. Oh, Steve, don't worry. We'll be doing it this time next week. Don't worry okay, about it. Right. You're right. You'll be right. Cut, man. You're all right. I'm doing, right. man. Can I? I can't. Me, I just. I can't. He's more Kevin Clancy opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, all I've got in my head is Tolls wee horn and he's smiling. Uh, <laughs> so I, know, man, it's right. I, I, I feel as if he's got something up his sleeve. Then do you know that way? It's, uh, it's giving me fear because he's not. He's like, I see we're talking about referees of Scott Brown. He's like, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to get that. the video version to see Ed Gray's impression of Toll there. Uh, thanks, <laughs> Goshy. Thanks for being a pundit this week. Really, really appreciate. Cheers, it. Goshy, mate. Thank you, Goshy. We'll be back. On football daft this week, and we've uh, got started football daft focus. Um, Stephen, you like this one? I've got in t- Someone reached out to me. A guy called Chris reached out to me. Now they do a podcast devoted to FIFA coaching, like, Love that. Love and that. Uh, this guy. We've got a Dutch guy coming on to give you tips on how to play FIFA well and a bit of FIFA coaching, talk through all that sort of stuff. I so, can't wait for this. So he's coming on. Uh, I, I really hope he's got a really strong Dutch accent as well. Could <laughs> <laughs> you see Grado now, man? Yeah, do you, do you remind me of Ronald the Boer? <laughs> bananas? It's ba- ah, totally bananas. Uh, it's bananas. Like that. My man, do you remember Peter Van Vossen? Uh, no. Do you know what I'll say? I'll say, remember, I'll, uh, sorry, I'll say, come on, here, I'll see, I'll see. I'll see if that's really a, a, a word. Yeah, yeah, I was telling you about Tommy End, and Alexander Mackay or something. I can get my wife to translate. Malachi Black. Malachi Black, aye. Translation. Come on, here, seriously! Come on, here, seriously! (laughs) What did you just say? He said, uh, come here, seriously. Who was, who, who was it? Did we know if a Dutch guy home when we used to do Legends Lottery? Oh, Den Beeman was on! Den Beeman! Uh, (laughs) Den Beeman, remember? Top lad! Top lad that boy was. (laughs) Brilliant. So that'll be on Football Dab this week. Download it wherever you get your podcast on Friday. Football Dab meets will be returning soon as well. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to Rangers Dab. Until the next time. Yeah, people. Audio Frontier. <laughs>